about the presence of the Joker as the main villain of the film Batman of Metrics are currently circulating in the virtual networks. But what Metrics said about him was that he was not going to use Joker as the main villain at the moment. But it's not like he wants to let him go anywhere. The possibility that he wants to go to him in different spin-offs is very high. In this video, we will talk to each other about the information we have and what Metro said, and I will also tell you about who can be the villain of the second part. Just before you want to start this video, remember to give this video a like, and as you remember, this is Review Movie Channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Let's go to Metris's Batman. The last scene of the first part of Batman movie was where he came to show us that Riddler and Joker can make a team up together. This team up was one of the important points that happened in comics. But the arrival of Joker showed that they don't want to use him at the moment. Where did this matter start? And yes, that the second part is going to be where these two people start their work together. It was in the dialogues that they said themselves. They themselves said that this is just the beginning of our work and everyone thinks that they are going to team up with each other again and the rhythm of the story will move forward like a comic. Now, where did he come? After this story, he came and showed us the part that was deleted from the movie. That is, where it comes, it would show us a long conversation between Batman and Joker. The main reason why this happened was that Metris himself came and said it was too long, it was taking too long. If they wanted to include this sequence, it would have made the movie a bit longer than it is. And many people think that the presence of the Joker cannot be very interesting if it is to be short. But in my opinion, if they were to make this sequence in the movie, it could multiply its charm. Joker is one of the main weights of the events that are happening in the world of Batman, and the city of Gotham that we are seeing was not at all the villains that are around Batman. The Joker makes that weight disappear. It makes the balance that is incomplete because you can see that the Joker and Batman are very similar. This matter has always been talked about and many articles have been written. Therefore, these two need to be together. We know that when he is the Joker, he can even bring other villains into a spin-off and more events. And that's how he can make the world bigger. But Metris himself came back and took back what he said, saying that I don't want to use the Joker as the main villain of the second part of my movie. And maybe in the continuation of the story, he would include it in one of the spin-offs that we know are still in the process of being made. The Joker that he played, even though it was a short sequence, he was showing that we are on the side of an eternal joker in what metro said he said that we have seen many movies of batman they showed us different jokers but i did my best to show a different joker that is darker he has used the character from the joker which is very similar to the movie the man who laughs it is similar to the movie that has already existed and we can see that he took a lot of inspirations from the movie character for his own movie a character who has a big cognitive problem and cannot control himself and always smiles this is completely different from what we now know about the Joker. If he gets caught with chemicals, he could be the Joker that Nolan came to introduce today. He has a series of scars on his face and we still haven't been given a complete and correct answer for those scars. Even in his words, the Joker called it, it was not clear where these wounds really came from. Metris has tried to show a Joker who is a bit archer and the main context of the events that are happening should go back to birth events. It's completely characteristics of Matthews himself were. His behavior shows that he doesn't want to introduce the Joker as the main villain. He wants to have his own corner of the story as a big ghost, as a prince who committed a crime and everyone knows him. But it should be in the corner of the story so that he can bring other villains and introduce them to us and they are given less importance. We know that HBO is going to release different spin-offs. One of them is Penguin and the other one is the Crazy House of Arkham. And we know that in the events that are happening here, the rhythm of the process may be in such a way that it even has a flashback that shows the older events of the Joker. Why did his face look like this and is it hot or can it continue? Even if it's the story, show us that a spin-offs in that crazy house and where we see the Joker running away from there. And this is how he brings him into the future events and adventures of his story. That is, it is not like he wants to use him as the main villain of the second part. Metris himself knows that he has entered a very big competition. He will deliver a Joker that looks like the Joker that was Nolan's Batman or that looks like the Joker that Phoenix played. These two Jokers are so wonderful that if he wants to compete with them, he needs to create a very good story for the three Jokers of his world and introduce him when he is ready to appear so that it can shine and even sell very well. The movie can go next to the blockbuster movies we talked about.
Of course, let me tell you that he is trying to do everything differently from Nolan's Batman. But I can also tell you that in the first part, he took a lot of the work he's doing and he wants to complete his world. We have also James Gunn. James Gunn came and said that this Batman that Matrix is making is not my world at all. It is a world for himself. I want a new Batman for my world. When he says, I want a Batman for my world, have a Joker too. It means that we are going to see another Batman and Joker in the DC events. So it is quite quite clear that in these several years that we have come forward, the Joker has one of the most important characters that have been shown to us in the world of cinema, because this character has potential. It is very high and this character is so important that every city should have Gotham and it cannot be left out. Now there are a lot of rumors about Willing, who can have a second part, which means that most of the rumors that I am looking at now are going towards Mr. Freeze because of what Metris himself said. I mean, in what he said, he said that Mr. Freeze could also be a good option for the next episode. He didn't say that I want to come and make it. But now we see that everyone wants to see Mr. Freeze. Now we don't know if Matthews will do the same thing or if he is looking to introduce another villain. After all, he has made his plans for the second and third part in his mind from the beginning. With the situation that the city of Gotham has, the water that came out and is spilled everywhere can be a good option. Introduce Mr. Freeze and if he wants to introduce him as the main villain, he can show the water and the situation around him, turning everything into ice and show us a part of the city where everything is frozen and he has even built a castle for himself and is living his life there. For the second part, he really has the opportunity to introduce more villains to us. For example, Poison of V and U2 Face, Hash, Russell, etc. These are all the options that can be expressed and shown to us in this. The chaotic condition that the city has, the events that happened can very easily bring more characters that are important to us and show us in that city. Really, the world Matthews is starting now has the potential to use any character he wants. In my opinion, it would be good if he came to show us all these characters that we know in the city and even show us a side pass. Like what happened in the Marvel world, the secondary character that we saw later on were given more importance. You can do this here too, show us the expressions of the characters that are in the corners of these cities and seek to gain power. Those main and big characters can pay more attention to them as important characters and make a spin-off out of them. And really, come and show us a city of Gotham with the grandeur and darkness that exist in comics. It is true that he is trying to make the style of the movie he is making a bit more realistic, similar to what Nolan made. But I think it would be good if he included the events that were in the comics here. It means that we have a nose that is similar to Bean in the comics, or mutant characters that bring Bowden here and introduce him. Ivy Boy Zen himself can bring Ivy and show her full power, the fact that he can even control an area for himself and that his flowers and plants grow everywhere can be very attractive, like the trilogy we had from the Batman game. It was really brilliant and this word can still bring it here. And let him bring the events that were in the game and complete it. Use the comics and when will the show use a first rate movie that can maintain its popularity for many years to come. All in all, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have theoretical opinions, write them in the comments. Don't forget to activate likes, subs, and bells. In this way, you can access the new content more easily. Come to the channel and watch the new videos. And you can also click here and watch the review video of the second part of the Ericsson series. All in all, there is nothing to say until the next video. Bye!